Good morning. Uh, it's Dr. Nemechek in of the Nemechek Protocol in Buckeye, Arizona. I want to talk to you about the flu season and because understandably I know a lot of you have not vaccinated your children for influenza or you yourself are not vaccinated and it's important to recognize influenza when it occurs and what you can do about it. So, <clears throat> excuse me, so the virus is a respiratory virus. It's one of the, actually the few viruses that are sp spread by uh, particulate matter. Um, it's hard to avoid getting the flu really because many people who are quite, quite contagious haven't even started feeling symptoms themselves. So potentially for 12 or 24 hours, uh, they could be talking and, and in their aerosol of their, their breath, uh, kind of spraying out large amounts of influenza virus and it's hard to stay away from those people. So it's really the ones who are about to get sick often are the most infectious to other people because people aren't avoiding them. So it's hard to avoid it. Uh, now, what if you get it? So the influenza is a pneumonia of the lungs, okay? It's not like a head cold. It doesn't start slow, little runny nose, start getting worse over a couple days, that kind of thing. It doesn't do that. <clears throat> That's kind of like rhinitis or a sinus infection. Influenza is a pneumonia, and typically a pneumonia hits a person like a truck. I remember a board question about pneumonia when I was a young doctor, and it was basically the story that represented pneumonia was a husband and wife go to church, the husband feels fine at the beginning of the service. By the end of the service, he feels so bad, he asks his wife to take him to the hospital. Okay, now that's rather intense, but that's the point is pneumonias like influenza hit you like a truck. It's not a subtle thing. Somebody wakes up feeling fine, by noon they look horrible. Somebody went to bed feeling uh, fine, they wake up first thing in the morning, they look horrible. It's respiratory. You can often have a lot of wheezing, coughing from here. You can have some watery eyes, nose, things like that. Uh, and uh, But the real one of the key factors is it comes on hard and fast. It makes people look sick right away. And, uh, uh, and it's quite different from most other colds and things you've experienced. Now, the important of recognizing this is if you are not vaccinated <clears throat> you have no additional protection and but there is a very good antiviral anti-flu drug called Tamiflu that works very very well if it's taken within the first 48 hours of when your symptoms start so if you wait and write it out for a couple days and I don't know and then you go in and maybe it's three days later and they test they say you got the flu the drugs gonna do little to nothing for you all right and so you need to recognize it the first day. So if it's you or your child, this very rapid onset, intense kind of illness, uh, you get them to a clinic or a doctor or urgent care, emergency room, they can do a test, a nasal swab for influenza. If it's positive, then they can start your child on uh, or yourself on Tamiflu, all right? So if you haven't vaccinated, the key is you gotta be ready to recognize it when it happens and you have to act fast because you only got 48 hours for the medicine, which is very effective to have any benefit. All right. Okay. I hope that's helpful for you for this uh, winter flu season. This is Dr. Nimichek of the Nimichek Protocol. Everybody have a happy holiday.